The Woodruff Wolverines finished last season with a 9-3 record, including a 6-0 spurt during the region play, giving them the Region 2-2A championship in Fred Brown's first season as a head coach. They had a power running game last year with Timothy Meredith. This year they'll try to spread the ball out a little bit more. Let's hear what Freddie Brown has to say about the Wolverines. Coach Brown, uh, one year through at Woodruff, uh, kind of what's the expectations for the Wolverines this year? Well, we'll be real young. I feel like uh, we've got an opportunity to be really good every year. And so a lot of the things that we're teaching now, uh, the fundamentals and things are already in place. And I feel like with a young group, uh, most of these kids will be around for another couple of years, actually. We played a lot of young kids last year. So uh, my expectation is they'll continue to get better, uh, although the league would be better again this year with Chesney being real strong and Chapman being real strong and room obviously with Coach Taylor going to be you know, some, a formidable opponent, very formidable, probably the region champ. So we got to continue to get better, although we're young, and that's the expectation. Being the region champs from last year, how do you kind of use that momentum going into this year? Well, you, you go into the season believing that you can win a championship, and there's a couple opportunities there, obviously, uh, to win the region, uh, to win a state championship, uh, to win up a state championship. So if you get any of those done, well, then you basically have got a goal established there. And so we did win the region last year. Uh, so we, you know, we, we understand we're champion now, but you have to continue and repeat those great feats. That was what, that's what great teams can do is repeat those great feats as they've done before. So uh, you get guys to come in and buy into it a little more after you've accomplished something. Mm. Do you like having that out there, that they know, hey, we were champions last year, we've got to kind of keep this going? Right. I mean, it's, it, it beats uh, not being a champion last year. So uh, it's a long way back to that. It's, some tough, it's a tough, tough region. My defensive coordinator, Benny Gibson, said that, uh, man, you know, after our first game at Chesney, he said, man, it's felt a lot like a Region 2-4A game. Uh, and I thought it would be a, just a 2 uh, way game. But it mm. was a very, very – High emotion, very, very uh, exciting. Mm -hmm. And so it's some great football in Region 2. So it's that. We, we look forward to it. Yeah. We look forward to defending the crown. You lost a guy, Timothy Meredith, who ran for so many yards and so many touchdowns. How do you kind of replace those, those yards? Well, you know, it's something that I've always said about football. Uh, you don't replace people. Uh, you rebuild systems. Uh, you do more as an offense. Uh, Timothy is not a replaceable kid. He brought so much to our football team in the way of, his athleticism, his toughness, uh, he was our unquestioned leader. And uh, on offense, he was, a, he was a force, and he was a region player of the year. Mm -hmm. So um, you don't replace the region player of the year in a year. Mm -hmm. You know, you build up a few young guys and you teach them, and eventually they'll get to where they can be a Tim Meredith. But we ain't going to replace them in one year. We, we'll do a lot of the things to help ourselves. You used a couple of quarterbacks last year. Are you going to? Try to continue that, or how's that situation going? Well, Jake Lambert started our first three region games, and he's undefeated as a varsity quarterback. So, um, you know, there's a big help to us in re winning the region with him. You know, he completed 70% of his passes mm -hmm. last year as a ninth grader. So, uh, we feel good about him coming back for the next couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, Josh Hyman is a kid that certainly is very capable at quarterback. Uh, we got some emergency guys there, mm -hmm. uh, two or three guys. We've got about eight quarterbacks in, in the program right now. So I feel good about those two playing varsity right now for us. And we've got two good JV quarterbacks. So primarily we'll play Lambert, but uh, we've got a couple of kids that can come mm -hmm. in as well and help. You're still looking to spread it out a little bit? Yeah, we're, uh, we're multiple. We're going to do spread. We're going to do wing tee. We're going to do option. Uh, we're going to do power. We do it all. And so we want to be equally good at all of it. I know people will say, man. Coach, you just got to do one thing and be good at it. Well, why can't you be good at all of it? Mm -hmm. That's the approach we take. Yeah. Uh, we want to be good at all of it on offense, defense, and the kicking game. Talk a little bit about your defense. Um, I know you got two really good juniors coming up. Uh, what else do you have to kind of go around them? Again, uh, Luke Simmons will be a senior for us that played, uh, started every game mm -hmm. last year on defense as an inside guy, nose guard. Uh, very highly touted right now. A lot of people looking at him. Zach Carpenter, a linebacker, started and was second in tackles to DJ last mm -hmm. year. Uh, very highly talented, very both very good students. Uh, those are the seniors that, that kind of mm -hmm. coming back. The rest of the kids are underclassmen, and uh, we replaced DJ with uh, a 10th grader that's a very good player. Um, when the secondary we're real real strong, we bring back uh, the entire secondary, uh, and so we, we feel real good about that. Maurice Gillen was a 
all state players last mm -hmm. year as a 10th grader. Uh, very highly talented too. He's a National Honor Society kid. So real smart, real smart guys back there that can play. Uh, we feel good about the secondary. We've got to bring the D-line along. But the linebacker core, Greg Warner, be a senior. And Greg is maybe third in tackles last year. Also our kick and punter. So uh, plays a lot of special teams. He's probably our best football player, Greg Warner is. So uh, we're excited about having him back. And I think we're going to end up being pretty athletic on defense, pretty fast. Young, mm -hmm. but athletic and fast. And I think that's the direction you want to go with the defense. Okay.